Welcome to Experts Exchange. My name is Joe Kelly. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a reservation policy within VMware vCloud Automation Center 6. So here we are at our engineering tenant again. And we're going to log in with the infamous, now infamous, corp.ratform.com. And you'll find that with reservation policies, there's really not much to them. I mean, with, with a reservation policy, ultimately we're restricting, or we will be restricting, uh, provisioning to certain reservations. So the policy sits kind of right above the reservation. And we're, we're applying the reservation policy to, ultimately, to the blueprint. And the blueprint, the machine blueprint, is, is what's, uh, what's going to be uh, available within the catalog itself and what requesters are going to come into the portal and select and request access or deployment of a VM. So you have your catalog requesting a blueprint. The blueprint has reservation policies defined in it. Those reservation policies point to reservations. Those reservations are defined to different compute resources, uh, even different storage tiers, things of that nature. So you're 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 creating the restriction within a reservation policy itself. So to create a reservation policy, we're going to infrastructure. Going to go to reservations. Going to go to policy, and you see that I already have three policies created. One for compute uh, up at the top, where it says reservation policies, and then you have some policies at the bottom uh, called storage reservation policies. Now these up here are defined. Basically, I define them to the instance of compute services. So if it's VCD local, I've defined a reservation policy for that. If it's VCHS, I've defined a reservation policy for that. If it's vSphere cluster, I've defined, again, a reservation policy for that. And I will define each of those policies on each of the blueprints, because you can only have one blueprint, or excuse me, one reservation policy per blueprint. So I'm saying with this blueprint, I'm only able to provision to either VCD, if that could be one blueprint, or VCHS, that could be another blueprint. So I'm restricting provisioning to only a certain set of resources. And that's what I'm getting with these options up here. Now you'll see there's not much to creating this. If I go to New Reservation Policy, it gives me another line here, and I give it a name and description if I want, and then they end up down here. Really not much to it. It's where, where it all comes together and where you're actually putting the meat into the configuration is with the reservation itself. Same down here with storage reservations, not much to it. I go and give it a name. Uh, if I had certain type of uh, storage that could only do uh, flex clones, then I could define a tier called tier dash you know, flex clones. I mean, it really leave it. It's up to your imagination on how you would want to configure these policies. But if you have a a clear uh, determination between the different types of storage within your environment and you want to restrict provisioning to those based on whatever that determination is, you can do that with a reservation policy and that's what we're defining here. So that's pretty much it with reservation policies. A lot of this stuff will start making sense once we actually get into the reservations itself. So that's it for creating reservation policies. See you in the next lesson.